So what you're looking at is a Yamaha 92 stroke Alpert motor. The tilt and trim seals are leaking. It's actually really common for the seals to leak, so don't worry about it. It's actually a pretty easy job to do. Um, you could also use this video um, for other Yamaha tilt and trim systems. It's basically the same method, so I'm gonna show you how to replace these seals. So as you can see closely, you can see a little bit of tilt and trim fluid leaking. See my finger is wet. Both of these are leaking. Um, like I said before, it's really common, so don't worry. And we're gonna replace these seals right now. So before you start this job, it is really important to buy a cap remover. I like this one because it is fully adjustable. And there are other ones on the market that are not adjustable. It just depends what you want and how much you wanna pay. But I really like this um, tool. It's really easy to use. Put your wrench in here. Put some pressure, it's gonna re remove the cap, and there you go. So before we even open the caps, you need to make sure that your motor is fully uh, trimmed up and put the safety stoppers down on both sides. Then just trim the motor a little bit down so it could fully rest on these stoppers. There we go. So now we are gonna remove uh, these caps. Make sure that the pins go into the hole fully. Once that is done, you're going to take your wrench and you want to attempt to unscrew the cap. Make sure that um, <clears throat> you uh, put your hand on top of the tool to put pressure down on the cap so that the tool doesn't slip and you mess up the notches on uh, <clears throat> the cap. And there's also another trick that I'm gonna show you right now that you could also use. Now, I don't have a pipe small enough to do this, but this will give you an idea of what you uh, can do. Um, if your uh, caps are really on there, and if, you know, if it's a saltwater motor and, and the caps aren't really coming off at all, um, what you could do is you could put the tool in, get uh, a pipe smaller than this, you can slide this over, over the rod, and you wanna make sure that it's um, small enough to fit in here and you want to trim the motor down so it applies pressure on the tool so that your tool won't slip at all. That's another thing that you know you could do. But uh, these caps, um, they're not really that bad so they should come out pretty easily hopefully. I'm gonna see how it is right now. Hey, this one came out good. No problems on this one. And on this one, hopefully this one comes out. This one came out good. So we're good on this side. So you do want some type of container in order to cap the trim fluid because you will have some trim fluid coming out. There we go. And there you go. One of the cap is removed, and I'm gonna remove the other cap also. So on these caps, we have a seal right here, and you also have an O-ring right here. We're gonna replace both of those. <clears throat> this is the O-ring part number. Now this O-ring uh, should work on pretty much all the 92 stroke outboard motors, but you should also check your dealer just to confirm that. And this is the other seal, and this is the part number. So I'm going to remove this O-ring. It's pretty simple. Slides right over. So now I'm gonna remove the seal and there's different methods you know, to remove the seal but I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna punch it out. So I'm gonna get my hammer and hit it against the seal. As you can see, the seal's out. So now what you wanna do is you wanna clean the inside really good, make sure there's no dirt or anything on this cap, and we're gonna insert our new seal back into the cap. So now we're going to install the new seal. When you install the new seal, it's gonna go in like this, and not like this. You'll see a difference. The proper way is like this. So what you could do is you could put a little bit of oil in here to help the seal go into the cap. 
but you want to put the seal as straight as you can and push it down as far as you can so what you want to do is you want to get a socket that is the correct size that goes around the seal pretty good you want to hit the outside edge of the seal and not the inside and this socket is a 17 millimeter and it works pretty good what you want to do is you want to make sure the socket's straight get a hammer and bang it down straight and that's what it looks like when it's fully seated so now we're going to install our new o-ring it's very easy to install just slide it over the cap over the threads now this cap is ready to install back to the tilt and trim system so we're back at the tilt and trim unit on this Yamaha <clears throat> and all I did was I slid these caps right onto the trim system you want to screw these in as far as you can then we're going to use the tool to tighten it down It's getting a little bit tighter now. We're getting to the end. Make sure you put pressure on here so the tool doesn't slip and you mess up your cap. All right, that one's in. And all I have to do is this one, and it's the same process as this cap that I just did. So now we're going to put more fluid into this trim system because we had some fluid coming out when we removed the uh, tilt and trim caps. So located right here is the reservoir where, uh, where you put the fluid in and there is a 17 millimeter bolt in here that we're going to remove. But before we do any of this, you want to make sure that the tilt and trim system is perfectly a vertical. As you can see, it is at an angle, so I have to make it vertical in order to do this process. So I'm gonna have to jack up the front to bring um, <clears throat> the trim system perfectly vertical and I'm gonna do that right now. So I had the tilt and trim system pretty leveled right now. Uh, I'm going to remove this bolt located right here. What you want to do is you're going to need tilt and trim fluid um, I have it uh, set up like this because it's actually pretty easy it's with the pump bottle but you can also get in this um, squirt bottle and just squeeze it in there but you want to keep pour putting fluid in there until it drips out so right now it's dripping out a little bit what you want to do is you want to put the cap back in Tighten it down. Make sure you do not over tighten this. Um, I had that happen before. So just be careful, just put it snug tight. And after you tighten that, you want to cycle the tilt and trim up and down, up and down for a few times and put it um, on the up position just like this and make sure if the till and trim needs any more fluid, just to put more fluid in there. So we're gonna cycle it right now. Then we're gonna cycle it back up. So you might hear some air or whatnot. Uh, as you can see, uh, we should add some fluid because if there was fluid in there, you would see it dripping out a little bit. So as we cycled it, it went into the system. And just all we have to do is add more fluid in here. And 
There we go, that's it. It's already pouring out. All we have to do is we have to cap it. And after that, she's gonna be ready to go. So that's how you replace the trim seals on this Yamaha 90. And you could use this method on other outboard motors that may be a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same method. And um, hopefully this video works out for you. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and check out my other videos.